He screamed. Oh, just and then all the, the, Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because I think it's that, that board's so old. I can't believe that and your it was normal st- voice didn't already do that, pound cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's just show you how reserved I am when you tell me to but be. But you're not. And I don't ever tell you to be reserved. So I can just come on screaming? No. Okay, then. He wanted do, me to but scream. But do I ever tell... Yeah, no, I understand. But do I ever tell you to be reserved? But I, I stopped, like I stopped telling you stuff years ago. <laughs> you he sure ignored did. me at every turn. I go, all right, I, you're right. I don't know what I'm talking about. But that worked. Yeah, that yeah. worked, and it worked immediately. Immediately, he he yelled, and then it was like, okay, I'll I'll do my. It's job. like cleaning stuff yeah. from a pipe. It went from having no meters to having all the meters in the red. But was it on the processor that you had to go through? And- well, the processor. What was happening was the processor was stuck. It's the it's the limiter. Yeah. So it was stuck in to to keep it from having like noises in the room when he's not talking. I see. It was stuck in that mode, and then by yelling, it knocked it out of that, and now it's working. See, we had never. Thank you, Jason. We never have issues with Mary because they have an engineer there. Correct. They probably she's in Nashville this week. Mm-hmm. She, they probably have a couple engineers in Nashville. No, they have him. <laughs> he was telling me about it on the when he was walking me around. But today. they do have him. They have him. Yeah. Like he's like the only one here who's right. doing anything. And then I even told him, I was like, man, we that's more than we had for a long time. Yeah. More than we might have now. So we yeah, we have one guy who has to go to like multiple markets, even by the way. for Nashville? Nashville is like no, a, a huge market. Well, no, it's not, a, it's not huge. B, they have a guy. They I mean, have at least they have a guy in house. I thought they would have like a team though. No, because t- engineering no, teams, teams are a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah those are long gone. That's over. Baby. I mean, I know LA. We had six like, or seven when I first mm-hmm. came to MMS. I know LA is LA, but that place was huge. It was two floors. It was that. It was the this um, the Nashville one is uh, smaller than what we have in Cleveland. You're and joking. Much much older. Wow. Yeah. M- older than this. Yes. Wow. A lot of money comes through that Nashville station though. Like, I mean, just with their country, and they got the Bobby Bone show. Mm-hmm. I saw his parking spot today when I pulled in. <laughs> his the parking Bobby spot. Bones. Yeah, I did. Oh, I it's like, funny. Oh, you should have parked right part. there. <laughs> he's not on in the afternoon. Yeah. He's he's probably gone at ten oh one. He probably does it from home. Now that I think about it, like he doesn't need to go to that station. I mean, he's got a nice big studio in there. So Why Rover would has a nice big studio at home. Yeah, but he's and he still comes in to do it here. Because why would you have a nice studio and do it at home? Why would you have a bus when you could do it here? What? He has a bus. Rover has a bus too. For road trips. Okay. I, I, <laughs> he goes, okay. Uh, well, like nobody's making sense. Well, I just feel like if you have all the those. Bu- the bus is for when he's on the road. Okay. Which I don't even know if that's a thing anymore. <laughs> right. I, mean, I think COVID probably, probably. Shut that down. Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's a bummer. But I mean, yeah, if you. Well, yeah, you're right. Whatever. The point uh, is, Jared Allen is an all-star, and that's what <laughs> that everyone is, cares about. That is the point. That's yes. the one with the fro, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Well, then that means that we can do rock trivia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thought it was dead. <laughs> uh, Break again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to welcome him back mm-hmm. to the proceedings. Mm-hmm. We okay. are going to do one on Bill's birthday. Um, I already well, looked we'll do at, one today, too. I looked at Bill's birthday, and it's a Beastie Boys question. Ooh. Wait, yeah. I've heard of that. Do you know the Beastie Boys? It doesn't really matter who it is unless you know a lot about them. I know some about them. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay, well, anyways, for today, Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day! <laughs> um, so, which writer appears on the cover of Sgt. Pepper and in the lyrics of I Am the Walrus? Is this ringing a bell for anybody? Well, it's a Beatles song. I don't know if... Uh, okay. I, I don't think I'll know the answer, but... Okay, so it's A, B, C, or D... And A, Oscar Wilde, B, Edgar Allan Poe, C, William S. Burroughs, or D, Salmonella <laughs> Pictured? Or what? S E M O L I N A Pilchard. Simolina? Salmonella Pilchard. Semolina? You like the puffed wheat? Simo- I this. S E M O L I N A. What's that? Uh, Semolina Pilchard. Yeah. Hmm. All right. A, B, C, or D. Uh, I'm going to say Salmonella Pilchard. That's so weird <laughs> that I'm going to say 
Semolina Pilcher. Sem- Semolina. They named their... Is that a boy or a girl? It's Salmonella. They named them after puffed wheat. Okay. What's... Um... I'm going Oscar Wilde. Okay. Bill? Uh, I'm going to go... I'm going to go Edgar Allan Poe, because why not? <laughs> <laughs> well, not why not. That's actually correct. Hey! hey! Edgar Allan Poe. There you go. Quote the Raven. And so Mary and I... We will do these questions never more. Mary Mary and I uh, lose then. All right. I think I've gotten all these wrong. And that's why we're not going to do them anymore. Yeah, because it's no fun if you don't... If you have no reference point. Well, maybe we should get the listeners in on it. Like, what if we had people, like, lined up to... Like, we just have it at... Okay. (laughs) You can get it on the Alan Cox Show Facebook page. Post it every day, but don't give the options. Just, just have people. I mean, it can be like just the Google Wordle. It. Yeah. Google it. Yeah. Google it, bitch. Alan, my husband and I went to Hibachi one time in West Virginia when we were going to Ohio University, and there was a massive hillbilly bachelor party going on at the restaurant. And the bachelor, who was easily three hundred plus pounds, threw up all over the the table. No. Ooh. The Ugh. worst. The worst part was the nice old couple across from us was traumatized. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, I, I won't lie to you. I was really hoping this woman was going to vomit all over the hibachi grill. You really wanted that. I really did, because it's one of those things where it sizzled, if you can bro. conceive of something in your brain, even if it's something you haven't thought of, but then the situation presents itself and you're like, why am I going to pull back on this? I want this to happen 100% because she was starting to sway and I couldn't tell if she was playing it up, but she all I knew was that she had had a lot of sake squirted into her mouth. Yeah, she did. The weird thing, too, with those hibachi restaurants, not all of them, but the, the, the one that we've gone to a couple of times is, you know, they squirt lemonade into kids' mouths. Mm-hmm. Or sober people's mouths. Or sober people's mouths. But uh, what they use for that is like the the bottle that's the little kid peeing. Yeah. <laughs> into your kid's mouth. They didn't do that for me. It was the same regular sake bottle, only it was pink. Yeah, uh, well, this mm. guy had, uh, unless he was trolling this kid, there was one kid with this family the other night. And he got the pee bottle. He got the pee statue bottle. I now I hear something rumbling. Now what's rumbling? I think there's a helicopter. Oh, there is. Oh, yeah, there it is. I can see it out the window. Okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just got PTSD from the studio. Yeah, I don't know. What else is going to happen? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that is a helicopter. Bill's trivia question on his birthday will probably be, you fight for your right to blank. Right. Uh, a, Give me the live. options. <laughs> B, to not wear a mask. <laughs> B, swim. C, to not wear a mask. That's right. Or D. Ain't nobody gonna tell me how to live. Mm-hmm. No, it's not that. Not that. I'm gonna sneak in there. Don't, <laughs> Don't spoil it. Come on. By the way, I will have those, uh, what is now a sold out show with Nine Inch Nails out at Blossom end of September. I have those tickets for you all week at 520. So if you're trying to get to that show... Because the tickets all get snatched up immediately now in a lot of these shows, and that's what happened. So, uh, sold out show with Nine Inch Nails. End of the Blossom season, I can only imagine. Uh, but we'll hand those off uh, this week. The uh, They created an A. I was reading an article on artificial intelligence that they taught to flirt. Um, Computer generated voices. There's a company called Synantic, and it's a text-to-speech technology company, and they're trying to get computer-generated voices for people that don't exist. Oh, this is great. This isn't um, at all terrifying. This won't catfish anyone. Yeah, this won't be the biggest problem we have to deal with in, the, in like 10 years. And really connecting. A connection that could turn into love. What could I do to make you fall in love with me? Would you need to feel my breath against your cheek? The soft touch of my fingertips? <laughs> Laughing at that face you're making right now. 
And then they show, so at this point in the video, it's just a girl's face. Now, the girl is computer generated too, but you can never tell it because it's photorealistic. And then they just show, the more she talks, they show the person typing in the lines of dialogue and putting in stop gaps like breath, laugh, sigh. I never saw that movie Her, but isn't that what that's about? Joaquin Phoenix falls in love with a box that sounds like ScarJo. Yeah. You know what that movie is? I think that I... I think I love you. I love you. Is all you need to love me in return the sound of my voice? Well, Maybe. I hope that's all you need. <laughs> I was going to say. Yeah, this might know. be... Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> yeah, well, put on some headphones yeah. and, you know... This might be great for the incel community. Mm -hmm. Because that's all I have. What you're hearing me say was never said by a human. It was generated by a computer. And they're I'm smart listening. They're <laughs> <laughs> I like this. They're and then you get the... Oh, they have all those devices that can hook up to yep. different things. And all of a sudden, the voice isn't all I need. I just need her to whisper sweet nothings while <laughs> uh, the... Automatic flashlight goes to work. What is a uh, sweet nothing? I hear that term all the time. But just something of no consequence. Like yeah. just somebody whispering, the, the, the saying is sweet nothing. So I don't know what the... Uh... I'm not real. I was never born. So then you see the person typing, I was never born, I'm not real, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's there's dials for pacing and how expressive they should be and blah, blah, blah. So... It's um Yeah, you weren't you were never born. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously yeah. these are things that are gonna have to be contended with. And they always have like highfalutin reasons for doing this, but it's always perverted into something else yeah. that <laughs> ends up being nefarious and criminal and human you know. nature takes over. Yeah, of course. Yeah, that's <laughs> you right. You were never born, that means you can never get pregnant. <laughs> uh, yeah. But also they're smart enough to work in like the vo the vocal fry. Yeah. You know, to make it really, really authentic. And I will never die because I do not exist. I know. <laughs> Sounds like something out of a movie, right? <laughs> but me insert a laugh. It's real. A breath. Yeah. So, could you love me? I don't know if I can love you, but I can definitely you give you an upload. <laughs> what is the point of this? <laughs> It is a company that is, creates computer-generated voices, and because artificial intelligence, when it's applied to these kinds of things, um, you know, the race is on, obviously, to make it as sophisticated and authentic as possible. And they're, so the, the next uh, step, I assume, is to try to get these voices to sound flirty, so that when coupled with, listen, whatever above-board uh, aspirations they've got, this is something that'll be used for porn. Oh, Absolutely. Uh, because there's money there, there's a ton of money there, and so, um, you know, if you couple this with, listen, they have not nailed down sex dolls yet. <laughs> they still look weird. They still kind of have that uncanny valley vibe to them. Right. Even as far as those have come, they still have a creepy look on their face, yeah. and so if you can at least nail the voice, that's probably going to let some people ignore what the face is doing. But even... Beyond that, you can put this into a video game or some sort of like VR situation, and you'll have a lot of people that are into that. Mm -hmm. Just think of what this is going to do to mukbang videos. Oh, <laughs> that's Come just on. they don't eat, huh? AI doesn't eat. Well, they will in the mukbang videos, they just sound like they are, yeah. And then, see, we've already, yeah, we've already got our own, we've already got the. We've already got our own mukbanger. Yeah, AI right here. All right. Hold on. I had to finish my gummy worm. Yeah, there you go. See so that, disgusting. Cody? The computers are coming for your job. They're coming for you. <laughs> Intelligence doesn't get much more artificial than that. <laughs> well, they have more intelligence than me. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was what I was. That's kind of I was joke implying you just made. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I, was, I know. Well, you made it less fun. Cosine. Mm. <laughs> cosine. Uh huh. And tangent. Sine and cosine. Ooh. That's right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I never got into her because I find Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, I like the Bill Burr version. Or <laughs> <laughs> they turn it on, it's just his voice. Yeah, it's Bill Burr talking to, he's having like all these like thoughtful, meaningful conversations. Just Bill Burr going, you know. I don't think that's what you're going to do. <laughs> uh-huh. 
Uh, people are telling me that the, that the rock trivia is incorrect and that I was correct. I wouldn't know. Bro, I, I mean, I read what it said. It I said, know. He read. He's got, the, he's got the thing right there. Say it. What was the question again? It says, which writer appears on the cover of Sgt. Pepper and in the lyrics of I Am the Walrus? And it said e- Edgar Allan Poe, B. Huh. That's what that's what it is. So yeah, I, listen, I was guessing too. So if I was correct, it would be coincidental. Maybe this entire time, rock trivia has been boring because all the answers are wrong. But I don't know. Hmm. No, Alan's right. Sem- Semolina Pilchard? Is that what it was? Yep. That's in. I'm looking at the lyrics of "I Am the Walrus" right now, and that's in those lyrics. What I don't about see Edgar Allan Poe anywhere? What about the cover of Sergeant Pepper? I don't know what the. I don't know. Hold on. Which writer sure. appears on the cover? Yeah. Yeah, but that sounds like two different answers. Well, they only gave me one. Yellow mustard custard dripping from a dead dog's eye. Wow. Look Look at the listeners. The customer's calling us on our shrimp. Man, calling I didn't out, get it right. Well, they're, they're, <laughs> calling, they're calling out Rolling Stone. Well, there are definitely hardcore Beatles fans. I'm not one of those people, but I fully trust that there will be people listening who know the Beatles Inside now, Semolina Pilchard climbing up the Eiffel Tower. There's the line holding yeah, Rolling Stone so, to a comment. But, there's, there's but they so also mentioned Edgar Allan Poe. Man, you should have seen them kicking Edgar Allan Poe. Oh, I didn't see. That. Oh, so, so maybe they Edgar screwed Edgar Allan Poe. That? Oh, who is definitely on the cover? On the cover. Yeah. Okay, so it's a trick the question then. Uh huh. One of the Semolina Pilchard is mentioned in the lyrics, not, not the on cover. the cover. Mm hmm. Why are you indignant? Like you got it right. <laughs> I, I, listen, I'm you just... you said you you said Salmonella Planchard. <laughs> this guy over here. <clears throat> You're just reading. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. And, and barely words, at man, that. Big words. And barely at that. <laughs> Salmonella. <laughs> Salmonella Pilchard. Yeah, now you know. Yeah. We told you. If we were to ask you tomorrow, you'd have no idea what we were talking about. Hey, pound cake. Who's Sal- Semolina Pilchard? Some bitch that was mentioned in the lyrics. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't even know if it's a girl or a guy. Semolina Pilchard, and it's giving me recipes. <laughs> I don't want that. Might just be made up. Maybe. Sergeant Pilcher of the London Drug Squad. Who, yeah, okay. I don't know. wonder if we oh, have well. I Am the Walrus in here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, we do. Oh, we get to listen to it? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold That's on. That's not a, not a favorite of mine. No, no, it's ridiculous. Yeah. But uh, people, it is a song that some people you know, know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they were super, super high when they were doing this stuff. Hold on. Let me There it is. Mm. Kicking at Girl mm-hmm. and Poe. Yeah, there so you what go. drugs is this song a side effect of? Is this is this E? Is this A side effect? No, you're just doing a lot of LSD a and a lot of I was yeah. gonna say acid. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Yeah, I'd say acid probably is Maybe some uh, mushrooms, something like that. God, I'd be so afraid. I'm so afraid of doing stuff like that. Why? Call Face me. your fears, man. Call you me. might write a hit song. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just I feel. You'll I just be able to back out of a driveway. <laughs> yeah, I did that sober, so imagine. <laughs> maybe, maybe doing drugs is what's right for my life. Like it messes up my insides, but it makes everything outside a lot better. Well, me. there are cases where people treat their anxiety. By microdosing shrooms and stuff like that. I don't want to do shrooms. I need to do something that cooks my insides. I need to cooks do your insides. Something. What are you talking about? I don't know, like some meth, or like some hard stuff. <laughs> can you can you microdose well, meth? Well, there's a difference between oh, psychedelics, like mushrooms and acid. Those are psychedelics yeah. versus methamphetamine, which is just going to speed you up, which you don't need. Heroin. Heroin will slow you down. Slow you down. Yeah. yeah. All right. Is that what you want? Uh, I'm, You're I'll in the give, right state for it. I was say I'll give it the good college try. The good college try. All right, that's what I want for my birthday now. <laughs> Me to do heroin? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I, well, I don't need you less engaged on the show, all right? This guy over here, Requiem for a Dream. <laughs> ass to ass. <laughs> all right, listen, I got to take a break. Uh, if you want to get those Nine Inch Nails tickets, it's a sold-out show now out of Blossom. End of September, I will have uh, the first pair this week for you after the break. 35192 to 